So in this video, I'm going to be showing you some really simple but super effective processing that I do for some minimal kind of house breakdowns and drops. Hey, how's it going? It's John Holt here with The Audio Journey, helping make music production accessible to all. And here on this channel, what I do is a variety of music production tutorials, mainly focused towards beginners and beyond. So if that's something that you might be interested in, then definitely consider subscribing. And if you're looking to learn the basics of making dance music in Ableton Live in less than half an hour, then I highly recommend you check out the Ableton Accelerator Quick Start course linked in the description below this video. Now let's dive into the tutorial. Here I've got a really basic track, which is the same one that we used in my tutorial last week about getting creative with loops, which will be on the YouTube card. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you how I do some really simple processing that makes my breakdowns effective. So at the moment, let's have a listen to this. It's a bit dull. Not a lot happens apart from the kick drum coming out. There we go, so it doesn't really create any tension or any contrast. So what we're gonna do is do a little bit of processing to make this work. So I'm using a drum bus, which means that if I put an audio effect onto this drum bus, it affects everything through here. So all of the audio from these is coming through the drum bus. So I'm gonna come into audio effects and grab an auto filter and drag that onto the drum bus just here. This is one of my favorite plugins inside Live. I'm gonna have a little play around with this and you're gonna hear what effect that has straight away. There we go, so I went a little bit mad with that obviously, but um, that is what we're gonna be doing. So I'm gonna change the filter type um, to be this one, which gives us the option to add a little bit of drive, which I really like. Um, what we're gonna do is essentially just bring the frequency down to cut out the high frequencies and then bring it back up. Uh, and we're gonna do that using automation. So let's open the automation view just here, which you can do by pressing A for alpha, as long as this MIDI keyboard isn't selected. And we want to select frequency, so that's what we're altering. Select this section here, which is the breakdown. Um, and we're gonna drag this line down to where we want it to come down to. So let's go for 800 ish Hertz, create a point in the middle and then delete these two points. And that gives us a nice little dip pretty quickly. So let's have a little listen to that. Okay, so straight away, I'm gonna add in an EQ to take out the low frequencies as well. I'm gonna pop that before the auto filter. 100 or so hertz. Cool, now you can hear that we don't want that to be on when the drop comes back in. And also I don't really want that to come back up to its full sort of frequency range before the drop comes back in. I want there to be a nice bit of contrast between um, the drums during the breakdown and the drums in the drop, which is gonna give it impact. So what I want to do is have an easy way to turn these on during the breakdown and off after the breakdown. The way that I'm gonna do this is click on one, hold down shift, click on the other, right click and group, okay? Now what I can do is I can turn this group on and off and it turns everything inside the rack off, which is awesome. That's exactly what we want. So what I'm gonna do is because I've just clicked this audio effect rack on and off, we can control the automation of it just here. So I've now got it off. I'm gonna set it to just come on during the breakdown, hover close to the line so that it goes blue, drag it up. Now, what you'll see is when I click outside, it's off. When I click inside, 
it's on. So let's have a listen to this. Let's take that drive down a bit. There was a bit of a jump in volume. Um, but that's sounding really cool. Another thing that I want to add is a little bit of reverb. Now, I use Valhalla reverbs. They are my favorites. And the Valhalla plate reverbs, I think, just sound absolutely awesome. So I'm going to pop this inside this rack, making sure that it is inside the rack. Don't want a massive amount, but I do want quite a big sounding reverb. So a large... Uh, do, 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 do. What should we go for here? Lush copper vocal. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay, so maybe we do need to bring a bit more of those highs in because it sounds a little bit strange coming back in. Um, but that's really simple to do. We're just going to come back into the, the auto filter. Frequency. Pull those up a little bit more. And I'm going to hover close to the line but not on it and press Alt. And I can then curve that line to do this. The other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the bass for the last bar of this breakdown and then I'm going to take loads of other stuff out for the last half of the bar. This just gives the listener a little clue that something's about to change, but I'm going to leave this weird percussion in going all the way through. There we go. Now, what I would probably do as well is have some sort of rising effect in here as well. Uh, but let's have a listen to what we've achieved so far with this. Now, another final trick that I'll leave you with is bringing down the volume of the master fader uh, can actually be a really cool effect um, and just gives the drop a little bit more impact. Now, you want to be fairly subtle with this. Uh, I'm going to do maybe 2 dB that I'm going to bring this down by. 2.4, let's go for that. Um, so I'm bringing the track, the volume of the overall track down so that when this kicks back in, it has a little bit more impact. So let's have a listen to that. There we go. So it's a super simple breakdown, not a hell of a lot going on there, but for those minimal transitions where you don't want big snare rolls and rises and effects, just a little bit of filtering, EQ and reverb can have a massive effect.